Today we're going to be talking about using an Android smartphone to scan and print to a Toshiba copier. Okay, one of the first things I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my app drawer and I'm going to find the Google Play Store icon. It looks like this one right here. I'm going to tap it. And I'm going to go ahead and do a search for Toshiba. And I'm going to find the Toshiba app. Now, there's a lot of Toshiba apps out there, but the one I'm looking for is this one right here called eBridge Print and Capture. Go ahead and go into that one. And I'm going to install. Accept. Now I'm going to open the app. Now my phone is connected to the local Wi-Fi, the same Wi-Fi that the scanner is on, so you need to do that if you haven't done that already. Click Accept. Once I'm in the application, I can uh, scroll down to print section here and I can print images from my device, I can find stored documents, I can even open up documents from Dropbox, Google Drive, OneDrive, places like that. So I'm going to go into my Google Drive and now I can go into my Google Drive documents and I can find a floor plan or something I'm looking for and it's going to find the nearby copiers. Now it's looking for all the printers and things. Now it finds our uh, Toshiba Rangers and Toshiba Cowboys. Uh, their icons are yellow here because they're in a warning state. Uh, it says here paper out. So at least one of the paper trays is empty but I can go ahead and print there anyway and go to Rangers. Select that one. Now it asks me for my username and password and this is the uh, code that you would use to uh, log in and print. Now once you enter this the first time, it goes ahead and remembers it every time. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in. Okay, now once I put that in, it's going to take me back to a little preview page and it's going to give me uh, my options here. This is page one and this is page two. So I can preview this, uh, but I can click up here and uh, go into like an options section where I can tell it how many copies. Do I want it to be black and white? So I'm going to go grayscale. Uh, I want normal print, duplex off, staple, paper size, I want letter size paper, uh, and I do want it to fit that to the page. Now all I have to do is uh, go back here and then hit print, and it will go ahead and transmit that to the copier. Okay, so now if I want to scan something, all I have to do is start at the top and go to capture, scan and my username is already filled in because I've used this copier before. I want my file type to be a PDF. I can change this to a JPEG or slim PDF. So I can set my options here and all I have to do is go put my document into the copier and then press scan. The document scanned from the copier directly to my phone and then here's my upload to I can save it to local, I can save it to Box, to Dropbox, to Google Drive, to OneDrive. So I can save this document directly into my Google Drive by clicking Google Drive and giving it a name. It's going to go ahead and upload that file straight to my Google Drive. If I wanted to email this file out, I could just hit the little share button at the top right, share, and I can see all. So I can share it to a different application, for example, email or Gmail, give it a name, and it's going to automatically create a brand new email with that file attachment.